Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from Slidenet here. In this video, we're gonna talk about one of the most important things in object-oriented Java, the this keyword. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the concept behind the this keyword. And in the next video, we're gonna work the this keyword thing out. Now, if you guys haven't seen the previous video where I talked about the implicit and explicit parameters, please check the links in the description text below because this is solely reliant or you can say dependent on that video over there. Now this is one of the most important concepts out there in Java. Whether you want to learn Android, J2ME, J2EE, without understanding how this keyword works, there is no way you can go anywhere far in Java. So what is the this keyword all about? Let's take a look. This keyword can be used inside any method to refer to the current object. Now we will be taking a nice example and trying to understand what this means right now. So if you're not understanding the statement, don't worry about it. This is always a reference to the object on which the method was called. In other words, what these two statements are trying to say is that there is a word called this in Java, which is a keyword and it contains the value of the current object inside wherever it is being written. That is the meaning exactly. For example, outside the class, you know very well that if you know the name of an object, you will probably say ob2.display to call the display method on the object ob2. But inside the class, you don't have to use this name ob2 to refer to some variable or method. You can use the this keyword to refer to it. Now again, like I said, don't worry about it if you guys don't understand what exactly this statement means because shortly we'll take an example and try to understand what is going on. Now one of the most important things that you need to remember is this keyword is also a part of constructor overloading. Now we'll be talking about how to make a better constructor using the this keyword but remember this is important if you want to make a constructor for a class where you have several constructors that take different type of arguments and you want to make sure that your code is flexible and maintainable for the future. So the first statement in that case should be the this keyword itself. Now again, there's a whole list of statements over here that you guys probably didn't follow and you're wondering what it means. Now let's take a look at what these statements are all about. First, let's talk about being inside the class and let's talk about the difference being outside the class. Here is a class A. There is integer number equals to one and there's a method public void display number. If you guys remember to print the number, I will simply say system.out.println and number over there right this is all I need to do when I'm inside the class let's talk about being outside the class for the same example what I have is class a int number is 1 just like before and then there's my class main with the public static void main and here I create the object by saying a obj is new a and then I say obj dot number in other words I'm trying to refer to the number variable that belongs to the object obj over here so again, if you finish this up, this is the clear difference between being inside the class and outside the class. Now there is something you guys will notice. Outside the class, you always need an object name to refer to the variable that you want. But inside the class, well, you don't get any object names out here. You directly refer to the variable as it is without specifying whether it's ob1 or ob2. So what if you do want a name inside the class? Now let's take a look at this. There's int number equals one, there's display number. And again, I say system.out.println number over here. And then my class main over here, where I try to print by saying obj.number. And then I create a ob2 is new a. In other words, I create a second object. And then I try to print the number variable of the second object right here. Now if you go and see how this code works, Let's take a look. There is int number equals to one over here created right in front of you. And then there is the display method or the display number method that we have here. And obj is the guy first who is calling this method. In other words, the number variable that gets printed on the screen belongs to obj, right? Now when you say ob2, the same thing happens. Int number equals to one. It's a separate variable now being created for object two over here. And then again the method is called for ob2 over here and then this time when this method runs you print the number variable that belongs to ob2 so you will notice one thing the method definition is just one over here and in other words we have just defined the method once here but depending on which object is calling the method it is referring to that 
object's particular variable over here inside the print statement or whatever statements you execute right so that this keyword is exactly about that here if you see the same example I have said class A and there is public void display number this time if you notice carefully I've said this dot number what is so great about this statement that I've written here well if you notice that this keyword is a special keyword that takes the value of the object who is currently executing or calling the shots for example let's take a look at the same example try to understand when obj is calling the method display number this becomes equals to obj in other words this dot number is obj dot number now when ob2 is calling the method display number this becomes equal to ob2 in other words if you simply say system dot out dot print ln this then that is going to be obj the first time it's going to be ob2 the second time and so on so whichever object is currently calling the method or executing it that this keyword is equal to that particular object of your class now why do we need this you're probably saying hey I could directly write number over there why did you write this dot number now let's take a practical use and try to understand now when the local variable has the same name as an instance variable the local variable hides the instance variable so this looks like a nasty statement let's try to see what the statement means there's a class a over here and there's a local variable sorry there's an instance variable which is int number equals to one over here and then there's the display number method just like before and take a look I have again defined variable int number equals to phi and then I say system dot out dot print ln number so my question to you what is the value that's gonna get printed over here is it gonna be 1 or is it gonna be 5 but first of all is this even legal that's the question yes it is perfectly legal you can have an instance variable and you can have a local variable with the same name now whenever this happens when you say system dot out dot print ln number it is gonna consider this guy over here who has been just defined because if you notice this method starts over here and ends over here this variable out here which is int number equals to phi has a lifetime within these two brackets over here we will be talking about this lifetime more when we discuss about variable scope in the upcoming videos but for now outside these brackets this int number equals to phi is not known and hence whenever such overlap occurs now if you notice this number one over here in other words this int number equals to one is alive all the way from this class bracket at the top to the class bracket at the bottom whereas int number equals to phi is alive only between these two brackets whenever an overlap occurs between two such situations the one with the shorter lifespan gets priority inside the display in other words int number equals to phi has the shorter scope within compared to these two variables and hence that is the one which is gonna be printed here inside our system dot out dot print ln so my question to you again what if you want to print this number over here at the top and that is when you use the this keyword to access this variable that you defined over here now if you say class a int number is one display number number is five now notice carefully you say system dot out dot print ln this dot number in other words it means that call the current object and display its number variable so inside your main method whoever is the current object that is calling this method display number that object's number variable value will be printed over here in other words one will be printed because every object will have int number equals to one initialized just like we saw in the earlier slides just shortly before right and that is exactly what the this keyword is used again the this keyword is also used for constructor optimization and in constructor overloading and we will talk about this with the help of an example in the next video so in the meantime if you guys are completely not clear about exactly what is happening don't worry we will take a good look at this with the help of a nice and sweet little example in the next video if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day